Hey, it's James Frederick. I wanted to welcome you to Deep, Rich, and Full. So this is a virtual tour of some pieces that I've painted recently. Um, so I'm an artist living here in Provincetown, um, and I'm from a family of artists. My father was a working artist. My mother actually met my father selling art supplies at the Dayton Art Institute where he was a student. So art has always been a big part of our family. And um, when I created my schedule for the year, I felt like um, one of the shows that I would paint would be a bit of a tribute to my mother who passed in January. This is going to be hard for me to get through. Um, so as an artist and as um, someone from a family um, who is always very close to art, I often process my feelings through painting. You know, if you remember, I did a show at the beginning of the pandemic that was about me sorting through my thoughts around what was happening. And... Um, as I put the schedule together, I just felt like there would be a show about um, my mother, you know, and like a lot of artists, whether they're musicians or filmmakers or um, poets, um, you know, writers, they usually turn to their craft to um, express themselves. And um, so this is, if you will, my tribute to my mother um, via paintings. So I have a number of paintings to take you through. And as I embarked on this work, I was remembering lots of moments um, from my mom. Um, you know, she died at 93, which is a rich, full life. And my feelings for her are very deep. Um, so I wanted to take you through a bit of a journey of what that means for me in a visual way. Um, my mom was um, someone who was very much into um, color and laughter. And so you'll see that this is really kind of a more upbeat series of paintings, um, which I think is a fitting tribute for her. Um, you know, I'll be talking a little bit about her as I go through these pieces. Um, and tell you a little bit of the background on what I was thinking. Um, but you will notice that these pieces all um, kind of follow a certain convention. You know, my mom was definitely someone who was into um, process and order, and, um, and I've let that kind of come through a bit in the way that I've approached this work. You will see a lot of bold um, vertical strokes, um, to use to express uh, what I was thinking. So I'm gonna to try to do this in one take after I kind of set this up and then take you through the pieces. So we'll see how far I get. I did break down a bit um, crying when I was painting some of these pieces. So they're very personal and very passionate, um, but I wanna share them. Um, I feel like it's a, again, a fitting tribute to an amazing woman. Um, as I was thinking back, so it'll be nine months ago um, tomorrow that she passed. And as, as that happened, I just felt like instead of being sad, I was really just so full, you know, like the idea of her life and how she lived it and um, the beauty in it and, you know, the knowledge and the grace um, it just was like very palatable. Um, and it overwhelmed the sorrow and um, you know she's not she was never macabre she never wanted to like you know dwell on the negative and um, so this is really more of a positive celebration of the woman she was so this show deep rich and full All right, so I'm gonna take you through these pieces and it's gonna be a combination of the tripod and handheld. Um, you probably won't see me a lot, but I will narrate uh, what you're seeing. So the first piece in this collection is called Day Camp. And this 
taking that off the tripod. So day camp, it's 12 by 12 on canvas within just several of these are with this beautiful, beautiful ebonized walnut frame, which I don't like to talk about the frames a lot, but these frames are just yummy. But um, So anyway, this piece is called Day Camp. And this is really about a memory um, that my mother had and continued to have over and over again um, while she struggled with dementia. Um, which was really about me being with her at day camp. She was a Girl Scout leader and I went by the nickname Buddy. And um, at one point she asked everyone to grab a buddy and no one grabbed me. <laughs> and so I broke out in tears and she loved that story. So she always loved to play on words or a double entendre. So that was fitting. This piece, um, it's called Versed, and it's a little darker than it's appearing um, in this video because the light is shimmering off of the finish. But my mother was a writer, um, so this is really what this piece is about. Um, my mother's name was Rita, so I may also refer to her as Rita. So Rita wrote this poem called Lumen's Tomb, and it was about um, it was about the forgotten soldier, you know, right after the war, and um, it was published in a scholastic publication. Um, but it was one that I always loved to read, and she kept a copy of it in our in our family Bible. So Lumen's Tomb. Um, inspired this piece, but it's really about her general love of language. This piece is called Lipstick On, and Rita was all about always being ready, always being presentable, and so this is really about that. Um, you know, she um, was really into appearances, and uh, unfortunately, I think I got that little gene from her, but this is called Lipstick On. This piece, much larger, um, I have to get way back here. So it's 24 by 30, um, 24 by 30, and it's called Your Own Way. And I call it that because there was a time when my mother's family, her parents seemed to move around quite a bit. and. Um, in high school, they switched from one neighborhood to another. And so she was supposed to go to a different school and she um, secretively got up and took the city bus to get to her old school for like the, nearly a year before she was busted. Um, so this is about go your own way, which is really about, um, you know, finding your way through, making things happen. She was definitely um, um, a woman with determination. So um, I love how that piece came out and kind of the complexity of things to navigate and then also those bright moments. So this piece is called Comfort and it is 12 by 12. And, oh, I'm sorry, it's 16 by 16. It's a bit larger. Um, and it's really about the moment um, in our lives, my mother and I, um, in 1992, when my husband passed and her husband, my father, passed. And um, there was a lot of darkness, but there was also like this union of comfort. Um, like to be grieving the respective, the loss of our respective partners together was such a blessing um, now that I think back. Anyway, comfort, <clears throat> that's what she was. This piece, I'm really glad you can't see me right now. <laughs> this piece is called Pure Love. And 
it is really layered and rich and comforting and complex but bright and warm it's all about a moment well it's about a lifetime of love but it's also about a moment in 2019 um, my mother at the age of like 91 broke her back and um, when I got to the hospital she was in a bit of a state of delirium and um, when her eyes locked on me I felt this pure love that I don't think I ever felt or witnessed in the same way that I can hardly describe and I'm hoping that this painting gives you a sense of the warmth and the glory of that moment. A love that only a mother would have. So, pure love. Now this piece is called Velvet Cruise and <laughs> it's 16 by 16. If I didn't mention the pure love piece is 30 by 30. But this piece is called Velvet Cruise and my mother and my father went to used to go on a lot of cruises they loved the cruises and my mother especially loved the idea of like dressing up for the cocktail dinners and the cocktail parties and all of that and she um, often made her own clothes um, she was an amazing seamstress and quilter but she um, used to use velvet and make like velvet gowns i remember a particular velvet skirt that my father actually had a matching tie made of the same fabric. Um, so this is an uh, homage, tribute to the idea of the Velvet Cruise. Um, this little piece is 12 by 12. It's called Madras Picnic. And it just reminds me of kind of the spirit of the uh, 60s, late 60s, when we used to do a lot of picnicking at local parks and um, the idea of the colors of like the Madras plaid napkins and eating al fresco. So this one's called Madras Picnic. And my mother always orchestrated all of that. So it was like a perfectly executed picnic. <laughs> and this piece is one that really... Um, is special to me. This one is called Lemon Jello Cake, and I always got a Lemon Jello Cake for my birthday from Rita. She um, had this bougie recipe um, that probably came from like Women's Day or Good Housekeeping magazine, um, but it was about taking lemon cake mix and baking like a sheet cake and then pouring lemon jello over the top of it like as a glaze and it was so freaking good that once I said I loved it it became the staple of every birthday <laughs> so that is lemon jello cake 12 by 12. This piece is uh, 16 by 16 and it chokes me up a little. Um, it's called Well Pleased. And <clears throat> let me say that again, because I was kind of <laughs> choking with a lump in my throat. Um, it's called Well Pleased. And it's really about my um, mother playing off of the famous quote from <laughs> scripture about um, my only begotten son in whom I'm well pleased and I was her only son and so she often used that phrase. So that is called well pleased. So that is um, the larger pieces of the show. Um, and there's one more that you will actually find on my website that didn't make it into the uh, setup on the wall here. That's called um, the dogwood lives. 
So I'm going to take you over here to these other pieces. I'm hoping this isn't too um, shaky, but I have these little six by sixes and they also are kind of representational of some moments. Um, this one is called Easter Egg Shells and it's another story she loved to tell about how I took all of the Easter eggs after Easter and um, smashed them all over the, the sidewalk going to the house and she could not believe it. So Easter egg shells. This one is called A Girl, What Else Is There? And this is basically a quote my mother loved to share that my father said when I was born that the doctor came to the waiting room and said, well, what do you think you had? And my father responded, a girl, what else is there? Because I'm the only, the only boy of six children. So this piece is called Champagne Premiere. And I used to run a movie theater and would have premiere openings of certain films and my mother's one of my favorite one of my mother's favorite was the opening of the jazz singer um and she you know it was a champagne opening and everyone dressed up and it really feels like a whole different time now but and it was but um so this one's called champagne premiere she loved neil diamond um so anyway this lower piece is the last that I'm going to share and it's called East View and um, it's really about the colors and the idea of summer and water. Um, the swim club that we lived near was called East View Swim Club so this was where I spent a lot of my time and it was actually my mother's reprise or uh, escape from um, having to deal with all the children because we would go off to the pool so it's called east view but i love how these all work as a series um and you saw that when i was actually at a distance so so thank you for joining me um sorry i was right on the edge a few times there about to break down um there will be an in-person reception tonight, which I'm excited for, and these pieces will be on my website. Um, the link is in the description here if you wanna see them a little closer. And I thank you for joining me, actually, for this whole season, which has been terrific. Um, this is the last scheduled event for the year. Um, I will probably have an open house in November just to showcase some of the things I've done for the holidays and some of my uh, winter scene paintings. Um, so thank you, I appreciate it. And I'm sure I'm forgetting a ton of other things, but I'm really kind of spent.